Good afternoon, everyone. Today I'm going to discuss panic buying of wheat in Russia after a bad harvest. The new snow cover map is out from Rutgers Snow Lab. And in 2014, fewer ships were sailing in the Arctic. A new article out from the Daily Mail. A Met office releasing new figures calling for a mini ice age as well as no warming in the last 15 years. And the maximum extent of the little ice age glaciation. There were fewer ships sailing in the Arctic, 53 ships in 2014, 70 in 2013. One of the reasons is that the ice cap is recovering in the Arctic. Take a look here, Rutgers Snow Lab. This is the winter North American snow extent. Notice the circles. See how closely it matches with the cooling that occurred in the late 1970s where they were calling another mini ice age to begin. This is the fall North American snow extent, again from Rutgers Snow Lab. Notice the uptrend from 1985 in the amount of snow in millions of square kilometers. This is November, Northern Hemisphere snow cover. Watch the color change, December. Wow, look how much deeper that is now at 100% coverage. And another reason that the Northern Hemisphere has more ice, which is reducing the shipping traffic, is that the percentage of days which reached 90 degrees is down of 86 percent was around 1915. Fast forward to today, we're down a couple percent from that, as well as the days that are over 90 degrees. The percentage has dropped. There used to be 17 percent of days over in the 1930s in the Dust Bowl era. Fast forward to today, we're down around 14 percent, again a decline. The overall global temperature looking at the RSS satellite has plateaued and also the trend looking at the peaks is in a downward trend each successive cycle becoming lower than the last. Jump here to January 8th surface temperatures. These are degrees Fahrenheit so we're going below zero. Notice around the Great Lakes they should get more freezing up there. That should also affect shipping traffic. Minus 6 Fahrenheit is minus 21 Celsius. And speaking of cold temperatures in strange places, cold wave lashing Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. They actually put out into the news here that their citizens need to wear more warm clothes because it's going to get so cold there that they're not used to it. Bring extra clothes is what the government's telling the people. It's going to get that cold. The same article accompanies here with sub-zero temperatures and snow. People are not used to that. This picture here is from the frost fairs that occurred during the Maunder Minimum, they called it the Little Ice Age. This article is a couple of years old, but notice how they're saying the same thing. Two years ago, in the Daily Mail, they reported on a Met Office release. The article is incredibly interesting. You should read it. It is a couple of years old, but the graphs are good, and there's a lot of information inside there. The Met Office, a government office, released this, saying that we would be heading for a grand minimum, as well as a mini ice age. And talking about the Little Ice Age, this is the maximum extent of the glaciers that came down in western Greenland. And through my series of videos so far, I've also highlighted crop losses of wheat in Australia, China, the United States for random cold events. Here's another one, Siberia having a bad harvest of buckwheat. This is becoming scarce on the shelves, and here's what you can expect in a country coming near to you. As people going in to panic buy anything they can while A, the currency has value, and B, there's available supply of that product right there for you to go in and purchase with your money. What if everybody takes this amount? It'll quickly run out. There's panic buying going on. The prices are going up. The, the harvest was bad. People keep looking for markers of the start of this. This is one of them. Runs on food, expensive food, shortages, growing times, planting seasons affected by weather, cold events specifically, and heavy rain and snow events also. Something you don't see every day sent to me by one of my viewers. A current temperature map in Romania. And notice the similarities in both the butterfly graph that I've put a black box around. You can see it matches up with 1880. And if you go to the bottom, daily sunspot count, average smooth, the highlighted in red boxes, notice how those two compare as well. Now our next solar cycle is supposed to decrease from this one, so we will go below that. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video.